next example is student to student collaboration and what I want to have you look at is a notebook from a social studies class where they were tasked with creating a documentary that was about 15 minutes long that had to do with some aspect of the civil rights movement. These students were in part uh, groups of either two or three and they worked through several weeks of planning, storyboarding, and then creating this documentary. So OneNote is a fantastic tool, it's a project portfolio, but again, it's not until you add the collaboration piece where it's really a, a dynamic tool for education here at Whitfield. So in this case, we have two students working together and they have a tab within their notebook. It's very much like the math notebook where the teacher has her version and then and can see all the student notebooks, but the students can only see their version. So there's a tab in there for project materials where we dumped a bunch of stuff that we went through in class that they can uh, go back and review and refer to. Uh, there's a tab for each student because the individual students were responsible for doing research on their own. And some students took handwritten notes in OneNote or on paper and then we, we scanned them in so that they could appear in OneNote. Some people did their notes, they were more comfortable typing and that was fine. They typed in OneNote or they typed in Microsoft Word or, or another word processing program. Uh, and then when they got to the point where they were finished with their research, they were able to refer to each other's notes and collaborate on writing a script. We had two teachers team teaching that civil rights documentary project. So they could both get into, without being in the same room, get into student notebooks, comment, make uh, suggestions, um, become familiar with student work. And then when the grading came around, they didn't even have to be in the same room. They could watch the video file separately and collaborate on that assessment. We found something very interesting happening also. Instead of taking, again, taking the place of that face-to-face -face time, the addition of pen and touch technology in Microsoft OneNote made that face-to-face -face conference time more meaningful. But if we look at that civil rights documentary project, the big thing that the tablet PC platform and Microsoft OneNote made it possible for us to do was to be more prepared and have those face-to-face -face conferencing times become more meaningful. It allowed us, by using those uh, OneNote notebooks, to interact and collaborate back and forth. And that really made the finished product, that 15 to 20 minute video, yeah, it made it a little bit more polished, but really it, it made us understand the learning that was involved um, that went into creating that final product. Uh, it made our students more thoughtful about what they were presenting and the impact that that final product could have to their peers or to an outside community. So the combination of that tablet PC platform and Microsoft OneNote is, is, is a fantastic boon for the creativity part of our curriculum.